Betsy Brandt brings so much of the role of Marie, I, I can't tell you. Yet again, this was, uh, I, I just count my lucky stars, as with all these actors. She's not showing at all, is she? She's showing a little. Carmen, this is my sister Marie. Betsy is, is warm and wonderful and funny as the day is long, she should have her own talk show. Marie has some of those qualities, but is also a bit brittle and a bit judgmental. What the hell is this? Damned if I know. I described it as mosaic folk art. Somebody bought it? I would say some of my fear in this show is Marie is not the most likable character, and to not be afraid of that, you know, to, to be aware of that and still be like, you know, to do it 200%. So how goes the novel? It's not a novel, actually, which I have... You're not writing a novel? In the pilot, Vince always said to me, you know, he said, she just, she needles her sister. She needles her. She just pokes, just picks her and needles her. I just thought a novel would be easier to sell. Yeah, well, maybe so. That sister relationship, as it's written, it's such a complicated one because, you know, they're, it's a prickly kind of relationship and Marie kind of, you know, gets under Skylar's skin and she sort of pokes at her and she kind of goads her and stuff like that. If you ever want me to read anything, I could critique it for you. Oh. No. We have had great chemistry from the beginning, and obviously she's hilarious and outrageous. How's the sex? Marie, Jesus. I guess that answers that. And we just have a very good shorthand with each other. Well, if you want to be supportive, that's... you could be supportive without prying. That would be really Prying, OK. Great. Well, yeah. prying's a strong word, so but I don't. Helpful. Sometimes it's really hard to love her, and sometimes you're like, God, I could never have a better sister in the world, because she would do anything for, for Skylar. She really would. You look nice. Look like a TV weatherman. I just love them as a couple. I just love them. I felt like I had really good chemistry with Dean right away, and we just kind of hit it off. We met in, in the waiting room to audition. Amir, this guy's name is? Jesus. <laughs> Homeland Security. Hey. I'm sure he's called the FBI. See if he's legal. I'm not happy. Ship his ass back to Camelland. Hey, where have you been? I called you two hours ago. Hey, sit down! Sit down! Damn it, Hank! Yeah, well, sorry, babe. I'm just, uh, you know, kind of in the middle of something here. <laughs> it seems like they're the only two who could be together. I, he Somehow he's able to put up with all her kind of weirdness, and, and somehow her weirdness allows her to put up with his drama, you know? Where's my sugar? Hmm. <laughs> We have a really good time together. I will really miss working with him. Excuse me, ma'am. Ma'am, you need to be wearing footies before you try those on. The first time she stole, it was season one. She goes to the store, and in her mind, it's justified because the salesperson was just not that nice. She took her ugly hospital shoes off, which was really just like a, to that person, and she felt like, well, justice has been done today. And then she goes and makes up stories about who she is. And I told, I told Vince, I said, I think she really loves these names that she's chosen. Uh, Michael Kilmore. Tori Costner. So when she hears that name, it's just like, you know, little birds fly around and hang up laundry on the, you know, like in her mind, it was just invoked some beautiful something, you know, and she said, Charlotte Blattner. So nice to meet you, Charlotte. You too. You know, I just thought that was just, Hilarious. I know you stole that spoon. You better just back off, okay? My husband is a DEA agent. Oh, I thought he was an astronaut or an illustrator. You better get your crazy lies straight. I choose not to do it. I thought a huge moment for us as a show and as a cast was the intervention scene. I think you should do whatever you want to do. What? When Walt said he didn't want to do chemo, Marie was the only one who was behind him and said, you shouldn't have to. I just wanted to do you the courtesy of giving you my honest opinion. Marie knew that no one would agree with her and knew she'd probably catch some big flack from her sister. It really was a watershed moment. I x-ray people in treatment every day. I see them every day. And you know what? Some of them don't want to spend their last weeks or months being picked out by doctors, but they got talked into it by their families. I loved her for that. 
Maria's very worried about her sister this season. Skylar clearly has a lot on her, a lot of stresses that Marie wants to get to the bottom of. What are you doing? You don't smoke? She means well. She's not a bad person I at all. But, you know, sometimes you're just like, oh my God, I do not need you to do that right now. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! There are times when Betsy and I were needed to both uh, uh, either stay in it or, or were able to step out of it and start laughing because you, you know, you need that levity. You really do. Hannah and I had fun that day. It was crazy, but it's funny. You know, like she breaks down and um, <laughs> I think I tweeted when that episode was on. I said, maybe, maybe Skylar didn't like her salad. <laughs> Breakdown, what, what, is that, what does that mean? It means I don't know what else to call it, but I've never seen her like that, ever. The character of Marie is not someone that Walt has been able to play with before in a one-on-one -on -one basis it's usually with the family so to be able to do a scene with betsy brant was fun you do know right you she was having an affair he played me like a violin you know like a f symphony oh the trickster that trickster walt it is babe we get a little hint of bittersweetness on the part of marie and her husband hank uh, a little bittersweetness about gee what if we were parents <sighs> yeah my little girl because i'm not giving her back i don't know if we'll ever find out i hope to god we will and i do keep asking why hank and marie don't have kids you know but it does it always seems a little sad for me they're, they love those kids and they're happy to have them but it seems a little sad any children no How is it going? Oh, you know, I mean, well, this little munchkin, I could just keep her forever. As judgmental a character as Marie can be, and, you know, infidelity would not be high on her list of, of noble attributes, she is nonetheless capable of forgiving her sister for it. You were having all these problems with Walt, and Ted is a really good-looking man. You're only human. They absolutely love each other and are fiercely devoted to each other and really would do anything for each other. I cannot stand to watch you torture yourself like this. You have to forgive yourself, Skylar. When shit hits the fan, I think she, she steps up and does what she needs to do.